everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on an electrical conduit that brings power from the house over to the shed. There's a number of underground lines that run between the two structures. Uh, they bring uh, hot water to and from the solar hot water panels on the shed roof. There's a uh, water line for, uh, you know, a spigot. I'm going to be putting a hose spigot on the shed, and also, uh, like I said, an electrical line. When the electrical line uh, gets into the basement of the shed, uh, I'm going to be kind of uh, running it through some PVC pipe, and I want to have an uh, electrical box down there for plugging in the dehumidifier. It gets a little musty in the basement. Also a light down there because it's kind of dark. Uh, but the first step is uh, creating uh, a piece of pipe that is going to come in and kind of sweep up and get up to the uh, the wall. I've been looking around at a bunch of different hardware stores. And I don't know if this is a shortage at the moment or what, but I can't find a just 90 degree bend coupling to have the pipe come in and then go vertical. I've, I can find sweeps, and you know sweeps are easier. Uh, what a sweep is is that it's a it's a larger radius. So instead of just going bump, bump, to do a 90 degree bend, it goes whoop, kind of a like a a bit of an arc uh, arc angle on it. That makes it easier to push um, lines through it. Uh, put put electrical lines through it. Uh, I don't really need that. Uh, what I uh, am doing is I'm just going to kind of like thread the thing on, and I'd like to kind of keep it nice and tight. So what I'm doing, I'm waving this around in your face. I'm going to make my own. I've got my solar cooker here, and this is a great way of um, bending this uh, PVC uh, underground pipe. Uh, what I do is I just take the, uh, the pipe right here, and I've got a little mirror that allows me to see where the focus point is. And I'm just warming the thing up down there. The gloves that I'm wearing are really important because they are going to allow me to kind of touch and shape this PVC without melting my fingers off. So I'm just rotating it around trying to get the sides all nice and warm. You can do this with a heat gun. Also, once it uh, reaches a critical point, you know what? I, I'm just going to take the hot water, <laughs> the bucket of water, put it down there, and, uh, and do it this way. I thought I could maybe use, uh, do it without uh, having the pot moved so I could be simultaneously cooking my water at the same time uh, and also not blinding myself, but I'm having trouble hitting the focus point. With the pot there. Oh, I'm seeing a little smoke come off this thing. Maybe you guys can see that too. Warming up. Okay, there we go. So what this is going to allow me to do is get a really good, uh, kind of severe bend in there because I, I don't want it to swoop out from the wall too far. All right. I'm, I got the glove so I can kind of squeeze it while I bend it. And that allows me to uh, make it so that it's not going to collapse in on itself. Because if you just bend this stuff, it kind of folds in half. And then you can't push anything through it. Oh, boy. I'm still feeling the heat through these gloves. <laughs> but it's a heck of a lot better than just having my skin on there. So I'm going to try to get this to be the most severe bend that I can. Kind of shaping it there. <sighs> so I can cool it off a little. <sighs> a bucket of cold water would maybe help. But I don't want to pull it down all the way because as soon as I get this kind of staying put, I want to uh, put it back in there, heat it up again, and really try to get this bend to be a little bit more severe. What it needs to do is come out, kind of loop back, and then go vertical. Okay, let's try to get some more heat in there. I'm going to try to get it bending a little bit closer to the uh, uh, the end here where it, where it first comes in to just really try to keep it tight. It needs to go up four and a half inches. I'm sorry, it needs to go back four and a half inches. It needs to go back four and a half inches and then up as high as it can go. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, it's malleable right up to the end there, you can see. I want to keep that nice and round though because I gotta put a coupling on there. Alright, so I'm gonna kinda hold it like that. That's a pretty that's a pretty good bend there. I'm not going to cry about it having to be more than that. Boy, am I burned my fingers. I know that the run on these 360 cameras is only about five minutes. It's actually it's literally exactly five minutes. So I'm probably going to time out pretty soon. So I will just let you know if the camera clicks out. That's what's going on. But I'll let it run as long as it can if you're interested in seeing this, this play out. This is also a great way of... Uh, shaping this kind of conduit if you're putting it underground and there's like ledge and rock and stuff like that and you kind of want to get around stuff you know you can uh, you can uh, kind of mush